made it here. Uh, it's just the cloak. Okay, people, slight detour. Okay, at Harley Davidson right now. Look at these, look at, look at these Harleys. These parking spots. Like, straight up, this parking lot is big as heck. Parking spots on top of parking spots. Then they got this big area right here, which I'm guessing that's, that's a, uh, where you can do a little demo it, ride or stunts, or they have like bike shows out here. They, they teach people, oh yeah, when they teach people. Even though this is not, it they don't have a hill over there, so I don't know what kind of teaching. But yeah, man, we're gonna. I guess we're gonna go in there. Maybe I can ask if I can film a little bit in there. We'll see. They most likely either say yes or no. It's a W if they let me. It's a L if they don't. So let's go in here. Check this out. My beautiful people, Harley Davidson. What that is? That's the electric Harley that just came out. Not really sure uh, when it did, but they definitely have a video, a whole section on here, and you can go for. So you press the screen, and, uh, and basically you can set up a test ride for it. Look at, look at that! Look at that little video, man. That man is moving. He is moving. Maybe everyone uh, credit up to twenty thousand dollars. I don't know man, I keep telling people man, uh, electric bikes are like the next thing. Oh, all those fingers? Touch screen. Oh, it's touch screen. That's crazy. Uh, electric bikes are like the future, that's that's the next step. This, this is so, so is absolutely gorgeous. 65? When I get like 60 foot, it's like, like through, through uh, Panama. The entire frequency because it's less. Fingers. Oh man, don't, don't just stand. Look at the saying though. Oh man, I, I have seen so many of these bad boys out here. Cool. Hey, buddy, how are you doing? So, we're back at it. Had to stop for a second, make sure I got correct permission. Look at, look at these things. So, my next bike is actually going to be a cruiser. So I'm actually in the market for one of these beautiful things. And um, honestly, I don't know what to look for, man. I got a friend who just purchased his first Harley. Uh, he got like one of these big bikes. And I know all the Harleys got like different type of kits. Look at that. The 110 motor on there with the L-stick right there. It looks really comfortable. Oh lord, T, T just jumps on anything. That's why you can't just jump on anything. Man. Why are you gonna lie on it? It's heavy. <laughs> Tia just throw her leg on this motorcycle and just be like, I'm out. It's 21 it for that. It's light, but it's not. It's not? Mm -hmm. Well, at least from factory, you know you get an alarm on there. Yeah. Look at that rim on I've never seen one of these yeah, things. Dude. This thing is huge. Bro, I didn't know how how many different designs Harley had going on right now, my gosh. Look at how planted this one is. It's got this big old frame right here. And it goes on down. Okay, so this is the fat boy. And then to the seat. That seat looks really comfortable. Oh, ah, look, and I don't know, I think underneath there is uh, no trunk in here. But it, this is one of the ones where you can put the big old bags on the side of there. Wow. My boy Brandon Picasso, he got the uh, M109. It's got a fat boy tire just like that. So, I don't know, man. I don't know where I'm at. I, I feel like I want to have a cruiser, but I still want to have juice. And I had the, I rode the Indian last year, and I know last year, um, when I rode the Indian Chieftain, it has like this big top-heavy thing. These things are freaking heavy. 
they are huge, but I like how it has the infotainment system. And then it's got the like DVD player. See me, I would have to get me a little GPS in there, change out these gas. But for 15, that's not terrible. 15 is not bad, but then you gotta include you gotta include taxes, uh, registration, all of that inside this price. So you're looking at a probably like two two grand more. So probably like 17, 18 thousand. But for something that just has beautiful like mileage and comfortable. I just like how all of them have like different features over this. And then look at the headlight on this one with the LEDs and the green bars on the side of it. Yes sir. 27. So we're looking at probably like 29. And then you put 5K and that'll lock you in for 2015. That thing looks super comfortable. Oh my god, it's got the sound system already in the bags on the side. I'm guessing this is definitely a
It's kind of crazy. It's a crazy design, but I like how they had it already painted up and stuff like that. Most bikes, that when they put on aftermarket exhaust, they don't have, they don't really give you something to be like, okay, that's pretty smooth. That's real good. Oh man, look at that filter too. LED bar, and I feel like this is one of the newer models that they just came out with, because I haven't seen this out, but you can see how it has all this technology flowing throughout the whole bike. Look at that gauge. It's pretty simple. They didn't overcomplicate it. They just got a nice gauge on there. Tell me what you think about this one. This one, no infotainment in it, but it has all of it. Oh, look, it's got the trickle uh, charger there already put on the bike. So you don't even have to worry about looking for a trickle charger. Now these right here, these, these are, this is what I'm actually looking for. Look at that clear seal. I'm just looking for really comfort ability. Look how smooth that is. Oh my God. 120 on the dash. But that right there, I can tell that's already touch screen with the sound system. The back seat looks hella comfortable. I don't know, the, the seat's not really soft though. But the grips is nice on there. All that chrome. And the way it's coming up and the flow of it is it's amazing. Oh that's definitely a charger port. They have a charger port already built into the bike. <sighs> Alright, so which one? I, I think this is like teal color and like black. Which one you got? I think I would go with the black one. But then you got the pinstripe blue. Whew. It's just a different look every time. I think I would get a big boy ram up there too, man. I don't know how much one of those big boy rams cost. But yeah. That's a good bit, man. And that's like where the key is. Already has the charger port on there for your phone. Oh, Bluetooth. Now, I'm not sure where's the, oh, there we go. There goes the cruise control, the toggle for the screen. Oh yeah, nice mirror. I don't know, I'm not really talking myself into a Harley, but man, I am at the same time. Look at, look at that headlight display. Well, all right, as always, it's your boy, it's Mr. 20 West, man. I'm at this Red Rock Harley Davidson's dealership. Um, you can come check them out yourself. They have a ton of bikes. So, uh, let's wait until we get this big old truck going on. Oh, wait before I go. You got to see this one. Whoa. Look at that, Look at that stitching. Man. Oh, that's the saddle, man. That's like an Oh, man. I like the flow of that, too. That exhaust right there with the heat seal. They already painted the heat shield. That's like what purple is blue. It's like a purple, a blue and purple. Oh yeah. It's like red as I hope I hope my camera is really picking up on that. Whew. Jeez. People are heavy in the game. Heavy in the game. As always, she boy twenty man. Let's go ahead and get that next spot going.